they they have some bangers, y'all. They have some bangers. And every time I shop there, I'm a little surprised. Cause like I never thought anthropology would be for the girl girls, okay? But they actually Hey gems, it's Girl Miss Chamima and we are oh I'm wearing no rings. Oh I know you lying. <laughs> Hey gems, it's Girl Miss Chimima and we are back at it again with another video. So today we are going to be doing an anthropology haul. Now it's been a while since I dipped my toes in the anthropology waters, honey, but like it's low-key giving. <laughs> now for the girls, I love the Sheins and the Walmarts and the Targets and all of that. I feel you, okay? But sometimes it's okay to spend a little extra coin for a little extra quality, okay? So if you're willing to do so, or just you just want to see what they have, I'm telling you, you're going to want to watch this haul, okay? Because I feel like I picked out some really cute pieces. So we can see how they look on the body, yada, yada, okay? But before we get started, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you share the content with your friends, your family. Because just because we reach 200k on me, we're not still moving up, baby. Like, we still growing, Okay? We still on the grind. The gym squad is still popping. So, you know, let's let's all, you know, do what we gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> okay, now let's get started. <laughs> First off, we have this gorgeous dress here. Now, I don't typically do a neck like this, like a boat necks or like high necks. I just, mm, I don't usually love it, but I feel like this dress was so pretty. I had to give it a shot. Now, y'all love to bully me about a bra. I would actually wear like a super hoisting bra with this one just because there's just so much material here. And if I don't wear one that has the girls like sitting on, on my neck, it's, it's gonna look real long, okay? But it's just so pretty. I'm glad I got it in this white color. They did have multiple colors available, I do believe. Um, it's not super tight on the body. And it's like a midaxi length on me anyways. I'm living for the split, okay? Now, for some reason, the lining is showing here, which I don't love, but a little piece of tape or something a little piece of like nail glue will get that together even though i feel like low-key for the price it shouldn't be doing that but i also appreciate that even though this material is thick they still included a lining because you guys know white can be finicky okay and we don't like finicky <laughs> we don't like naked we don't like nothing so i appreciate the excess material that they gave me okay but i don't know if this is just defective or they all are like that but i'll just put a little something to just make sure that the lining stays in place but overall, this dress gives me elegance. It gives me royalty. It gives me like robe vibes because of like how it kind of like drapes here on the neckline. And it just, it screams money. I don't even think I have a fragrance that matches the energy of this dress, y'all. Like I am actually obsessed. Now, I'm a little uncomfortable because I, I told you I don't like things on my neck, but the dress is stretchy material itself is comfortable it sits very well on the body oh chat and i'm i mean the split and it has like a little ruching gathering right here like this dress is a moment it's such a moment i'm willing to overlook this situation right here truly this dress is a moment i'm just thinking about like the shoes in the bag oh baby it's giving like sequins or like razzle dazzle right so crystal swarovski crystal <laughs> Like, I just feel like for this dress, I need to go above and beyond with this. Like, this is not no ordinary dress, honey. Okay, this is not for the ordinary people, okay? Come on, John. Yes. Okay, so I am seeing where the lining is not lining up. So I think that would have been nice if they did make the lining match the sides of the dress. If it was like kind of like stitched together. That would have been perfection, beautiful. Um, but it's it's something I'm willing to overlook personally. Cause baby, like, ooh, come on. I have these, I wanna say cult Gaia heels, or maybe it's Schultz, but it's like all crystals 
or rhinestones. I don't know, child. But it's like tiny, 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 tiny little crystals all over the shoe, the sandal. And I feel like it would be perfect with this with a nice little bejeweled or like sequins clutch bag. Like it's giving elegant. Oh, I love this piece. And I managed to get it on without getting makeup on it, okay? Period, um, period, uh. Let's get to the next one. Yeah. This dress is giving 300K. Yeah. So next I had this cropped button up. And while she's cute, she's pretty simple, pretty basic. I feel like I should have gone down a size because it is pretty big. I kind of wish it was like a little more fitted to the body. And that would have looked a little better for me personally. I did buy everything in a 3X. This one, I would get again in a 2X. But besides it being a little too big for my personal style, she's cute. She's cute. Okay, pretty simple. No stretch, but no sleeves. So who got to worry about it? Not me. <laughs> And I feel like this is just really cute to throw on with some slacks, some jeans, some loafers, sandals, or even a cute heel, a clog. <laughs> Y'all know I was in my clog bag, okay, period. Did I say bag or back? I was in my clog era, okay? So I have some really cute clogs. I feel like it would be really um, nice with this if I throw on some jeans, some my, some, maybe my Tory Borfin jeans, my clog, and a nice bag, a nice statement bag or a tote or something. That I feel like is perfect for um, a cute day look. Yeah, yeah. I actually really like this. Next. Ooh, okay. Okay, anthropology. So I picked up this really cute black pleather vest. I'm loving that. Now, why would I wear these see-through shorts and think that I can just come on here all willy-nilly? <sighs> Lord, let my Zoom game be strong. Hold on. I'm just throwing on my, my favorite Target shorts, which if you've been keeping up with the vlogs, you have seen these already because I rant and rave about these. I will also link these down below. <laughs> because you need, like, why wouldn't you own this? Why would you not have these shorts in your life? Like high-waisted, cover the shelf completely, comfy fit, cute, anti-thigh chafing, like she's a winner all the way around, like literally 100% A plus tens across the board. So why don't you own them already? <laughs> no worries, I'll link them down below. But can we just let this top have a moment? Can we let this top have a moment? Because you could dress it down like I'm wearing now. Once again, bring out the clogs, some cute sandals, some sneakers, some real cute like fire sneakers. Or you can dress it up with a cuter dressier shorts or some leggings or a nice skirt. This is such a versatile piece. I can wear this with my cargos, my oversized cargos, some cute heels. Oh. You guys know I've been intentional. Well, once again, you gotta keep up with the vlogs. But I've been talking about how I wanna be more intentional about buying pieces that I love. And this right here is a piece that I love. And 1000% is so worth the investment. Like, I love this. Everything about this. Like, the cut of the cap shoulder, how it, it actually gives me a shoulder. <laughs> gives me a little definition. I love that for me. It's giving shape okay but it's cropped y'all know i love crops and a v-neck i love a v-neck and it's comfy got a little stretch to it okay i love that it's cinched in at the waist like literally everything about this top is perfection they can say this do you mean this top is 200 dollars i would pay for it because this is a top that will get a lot of wear so when you see this top coming up over and over and over and over in the future, mind your business. I paid good money for it and it's cute AF, okay? Get you one so you can do the same. Oh, no, this is so cute. 
It's me wearing all my favorite things together at once. Like, oh. Mm. Even like this look together with some thigh high. Oh. My body is, is tingling for the fall content. It's just so hot outside. Every time I think about fall content and sweaters and layers, I immediately, the back of my knees start dripping sweat. <sighs> immediately, blood pressure on a thousand. <sighs> anyway, child. Oh yeah, she's cute. Oh, she, she's a darling. She's absolutely delightful, worth, every penny honey and you might spend a couple pennies i'm not gonna lie you won't spend a couple pennies at anthropology but it's worth every penny my goodness like do you see the detailing in the shoulder like the ah oh, just so well constructed my goodness just eight anthropology eight four plus four eight So for sure, I thought that the top looked cuter online on the model. Looking at it on myself, well, first of all, when I pulled it out, I was like, wow, it's giving, it's giving something that I didn't realize that's what I asked for. And I don't quite want. But for one thing, I love a drapey cowl neck. I feel like that automatically emphasizes and dresses up a top, a piece, if you will. <laughs> Um, I don't like how it is as is right now. Personally, it's not my style, but the material of the shirt, lovely. The softness, lovely. Oh my God. I love this for me. And I feel like if I just invert this, it'll give me more of the look that I was going for. Like I feel like this with some slacks is just a nice casual dinner look. I'm not mad at this. I'm not mad at this at all. I'm actually gonna keep this one as well. This is a keeper for me. And I like the fact that you can wear it like this and still have like the drapey effect and still like have it look dressy because now it's kind of like two in one. Super dressy or maybe you can like tuck it into pants or you can work with jeans and make it a little more chill because I think that's what I'm like about the bottom. The bottom is very much giving casual right here. Um, so if you want that look, you can definitely do that. Okay. Anthropology, y'all doing something. Y'all doing something. But once again, it's the neckline that got me. It is. It is. And I feel like this right here with some cute leather shorts. Boom, a quick look. Automatically dressed up, but not doing too much unless I want to do the most, which I'm very much so allowed. Okay, and apology so far. We hit it. We hit it. Okay. Okay, so next we have this gold sequin tube top. Um, it's a no for me. Um, all the way across the board, it's a no. <laughs> One, I don't really care for how these sequins look. I feel like, oh yeah, it definitely has more rounded eyes when you go against the grain. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't like the fit. I don't like the look. I don't like the length. It's just, I don't like anything about it, honestly. Um, let me see, I feel like low-key might be better as a skirt. <laughs> I don't know if there's enough material to make it pass as a skirt, but why not try? I do like the fact that the liner is attached to the outer portion of the, the top. Yeah, this definitely would have been better as a skirt if it fit well, which it doesn't. <laughs> Baby mom, it looks way better as a skirt than a top though. I can tell you that. I can tell you that. This as a skirt though, high key would eat. Oh, I know I said I didn't like the length, but if it was just a little longer, just a little longer, like an inch and a half longer, especially in the back. In the back, give me three inches. But this would have been so cute. 
But unfortunately, yeah, I don't got the pass on this one. It's a no for me. The first no, yikes. So I know we're still technically in summer, but baby, it's time to start looking to next season, okay? It's time to start preparing for next season. I'm a little scared at how perfect this Skims bralette matches the gray tones of this skirt. Like, it's not exactly perfect, but it's damn close. <laughs> this skirt is so soft. I absolutely fell in love with the print. It actually comes with a matching sweater, but I didn't get the sweater. But the skirt, I absolutely needed. I mean, look at the material, honey. Look at the material and feel the material. I actually have a top that would go really well with this and a bag that would go really well with this. Ah! This is so cute. I cannot get enough. Like, ah, stunning. Now, when it gets a little nippy outside, <laughs> you know, you just toss a little, a little jacket on or whatever. A little jacket on or whatever. Now already, I feel like I should have sized down on this one. This is very interesting. I very rarely have to size down on things. So I'm just like, I don't, at this point, I don't know if it's the gym or if anthropology is just running large or are these items oversized? I don't know. Okay. So I feel like right now as is, it's giving auntie. <laughs> it's giving auntie, but I'm hoping that if I pull in the drawstrings and cinch in the bottom, it'll like make it a little more youthful. Cause we want rich auntie, okay? Not auntie that I want to leave the house. <laughs> I'm so sorry if any of y'all don't like to leave the house. I'm pretty sure that's not even you I was describing, but I just, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I don't love. I don't love the quarter sleeve. I would have preferred a full sleeve that I can push up because that gives a different look than having something that's already quarter sleeve, if that makes any sense. Um, now, can I finesse it? Sure, but do I want to? It's a maybe, it's a maybe. Once again, I'm not in love, I'm not in love. Am I in like though? Am I even in like? I would say it's a medium weight. It's not light. It's like a nice medium, a solid something that you can throw on. And I like that it'll actually give you a little bit of warmth, but it's cute, but it's not gonna make you hell, like hella hot either. It's a very nice balance for a jacket. I'm not gonna lie, but it's just, you know, just a little, more concise to my personal body parts and figure and how I like things to fit me. It'll be more my cup of tea. But um, yeah, I like the color though. Really cute. Now, <laughs> did I look at that gorgeous print and say that yes, I automatically needed it in a dress? Yes. Oh. It was just so cute. And I said, a dress and a skirt are two different things, you know? Um, now this is looser than I thought it was gonna be. I prefer my sweater dresses to be skin tight. And these are very stretchy, like very stretchy. Okay, easily four or five can fit in this. Um, <laughs> you could do six. The only thing is you would have to wear tights with it because as a material stretches this way, it'll, as you can see, go up this way. So I feel like even as a tunic, you can wear this like, oh, or the long sweater with jeans. Oh my gosh, I love this for us. It's the variety and the sizing options for me, okay? Now this is actually a true sweater dress on me, which means I can wear this with shorts and I won't be naked. <laughs> So I love that, but yeah, this is another piece that I personally will size down on. But she is stunning, okay? And like I said, y'all know I like my stuff skin tight. If you don't like it skin tight, get your regular size because if it's fine, if it's perfectly fine. But I'm just not sure how much it'll stretch throughout the day, so just keep that in mind. 
But man, they knew what they were doing when they made this print, honey. They did. <laughs> and apology, y'all doing something. Y'all doing something. Stop playing to make me a partner. I'm trying to join a club. Sign me up. Okay, so. <laughs> Based on the fit of this dress, I don't think that the pieces are big on me because of the gym. I think that the pieces are just oversized <laughs> because this one is very much so giving <laughs> true to size and it don't move. <laughs> Which is so unfortunate because she's such a cute dress. I have no body in this. Like, and she's thick. The thick, the thick, the thick, the thick, the thick, okay? Honey, I see where the money went with this dress. Like, this outer portion right here, like, what even is this? And there's not an ounce of stretch. I can't move. There's no give, like this is screaming money, okay? And that's what I need back, my money, because it don't fit. <laughs> but it's so unfortunate. And I feel like, oh my God, with like this big gold jewelry to kind of make these um, little hole thingies pop more. I'm not sure if you guys can see the gold detailing here, but like big, like massive gold bracelets, black maybe patent heels, ugh. I thought this would be so cute, cute little handbag. It is giving all of the things. Oh, it's so unfortunate. It's so unfortunate, but it's very much so giving t-shirt. It's giving, um, it don't move, but she's so, she's so cute. Oh, like this in my size would have ate, would have eaten, okay? <laughs> makes me so sad but yeah she is um she's going back sorry to this man sorry to me because I saw the vision like <sighs> I felt the vision <sighs> so this is another dress that I thought would be more on the elegant side it's giving lunch in the Hamptons dinner in the Hamptons <laughs> breakfast at Barney's um I don't like how it looks on my body per se once again baby these dresses don't have this don't have no stretch okay and I feel like if you just had a little bit of stretch to it a little bit of something I would have been able to like make this conform to my body a little better but it's very much straight up and down and I don't love that on me now the concept itself is cute I just wish that it's just so stiff. Um, the material is on the thicker side, so I feel like that is why it's giving starch iron. Um, and I thought it would have a little more give to it, a little more gracefulness as it moves. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of sad about that. Because I had ideas for this dress, y'all. I had ideas. I was like a cute white dress with like a really bold boot for the fall. Stunning, but alas, I don't think this is a keeper for me either. But concept wise, I think she's really pretty. Um, and I think if you're a smaller girl, you should consider it. I'm telling y'all, the higher up in quality you go, you the more you really gotta get your size <laughs> because babes this ain't no fashion over where, where you pull out a, a a piece and it looks like it's for a toddler and it stretches all the way to 4x and by 4x i mean 2x <laughs> with a bbl <sighs> ouch so next we have this gorgeous dress here now i must say um when i pulled it out it was not the material that i was expecting it to be but I think that's a good thing because this one is more forgiving than the others. It has a lot more stretch, gives you a lot more room to kind of move and, and mesh your body, integrate your body with the piece. And I personally find that pieces like that are the most flattering for me. But it's the octopus tentacles at the end for me. <laughs> and I think that's what I love so much about that eyelet dress that didn't fit, like with the holes in it, because the liner stopped here, but then it was like, 
skin, but like covered, but in knots. <laughs> I feel like when, when pieces have like little teasing moments like that, it just gives it so much character, makes it more fun, makes it stand out more. And I feel like these tentacles are giving me life. <laughs> so this is like a Medaxi lift. It falls mid-calf. Um, so for my shorter girls, it will be longer on you. My taller girls, it's going to be a little bit past the knee, you know? And I feel like because of the way the end is, it works for everyone, right? Um, I would personally wear a good pair of Spanx with this because I want the attention to be solely focused on the bottom of the legs. <laughs> Not as zip it up all the way, but y'all my business, okay? If it. So once again, yeah, I think the other pieces were just um, oversized. Also, this is giving, I need to wear a good strapless bra so I can fill out the mounds that they have placed in here for the dress <laughs> does it look better or kind of lift the girls and sit them in the little oh no she's cute she's cute Ooh, with the neck clasped oh yeah yeah she's a winner <laughs> she's a winner okay y'all last but not least da -da -da -da. no i'm lying Ooh. Okay, so I bought this thinking this was going to be a jacket as well. And it's not. <laughs> it's essentially a shirt that's shaped like a jacket, but also kind of like a peplum top. Um, and I'm not going to lie, I don't, I don't love it. I don't love it. I feel like how I thought it would come across per the picture and how it looks in person, it's not translating. Because I feel like you're trying to be too many things at once. It's like you're trying to be a jacket, but you're also trying to be a peplum top, but you're also trying to be like a shirt, like a long sleeve shirt. But then it's also like, I don't know, like what's what's the vibe? So corset, because oh, this is tight, honey. Oh, I don't think I can close this. Wait, wait a minute. Barley. Oh, oh, oh. But yeah, um, and then it's like the sleeves are, the sleeves are, they're cute probably pull it up like this but um once again I just feel like it's just too many things going on like if you're gonna be a jacket to be a jacket like because it'll be really cute as a jacket you know if you're gonna be a shirt be a shirt like you want to do all the things and be all the things like with a zipper and everything but it's so thin like literally it's like a shirt literally <laughs> but I don't know child it's not a love for me personally oh oh okay so this is basically the same version as that very first white dress i showed you guys the only difference being the material on this one this outer layer is let lesh <laughs> mesh as opposed to that really thick material that the other one was composed of the draping on the neck is more centralized in my opinion it seems very much at the neck here but i'm okay with that because it's more so about the print than the draping anyways the print is gorgeous it's stunning this is more forgiving than the first one also more stretchy it lays on the body a little differently also i think the first dress was a fluke because the lining on this one does not show this one this one stays in her lane okay so you don't have to nip and tuck tape glue nothing she just gonna stay where she need to be but she oh she she's cute honey oh oh she ain't one of them she is not one of them anthropology y'all doing something y'all are doing something very much something i love this it's giving like bouquet like blurred lights in the background kind of thing um and she's really cute really 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 cute I really like this dress. Oh, oh, this might be like my new fall like style. This dress kind of reminds me of dresses from the brand Affirm. Low key. But this is nice. I like this. I like it y'all. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my haul from Anthropology. I hope I inspired you to kind of take a look 
see what catches your eye maybe invest your coin in some pieces because i really feel like they they have some bangers y'all they have some bangers and every time i shop there i'm a little surprised because like i never thought anthropology would be for the girls okay but they actually have like a really decent um collection of plus size items and as you can see they're hitting okay Thank you guys once again for watching, and I will see you again in the next one. Toodles. A period. Yeah. 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 Okay. Ah! Period.